Welcome back to another episode guys, it has been a while since I've been on. Um, today, as you can see by the title of the video and also the car behind me, we're going to do a walkthrough of Dad's 200 series. So yeah, let's start um, with the front end. So it's got a rival bull bar that's colour coded to the actual same colour as the car, which is like a graphite. Um, it's got twin steadies up front. Not too sure about what light bar is behind there, um, but yeah, it would have come with the rival bar. Also just like for the winch under there. The grill is a custom grill from Mr. Body Kits, I believe it's called. Um, they do all types of body kits for cars and grills and all that sort of stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's called a spider mesh, if you guys are wondering. And yeah, pretty much um, integrates the standard camera as well that comes with it and all the sensors behind the actual badge itself. Um, what else do we have up front? I think that's pretty much it for up front. I'll lift the bonnet now and show you guys underneath. Under the bonnet, first up, we have a Moonlight Custom Airbox. So these are real important for 200s. As you guys know, the standard airboxes get a lot of dust ingress in them, especially on real dusty tracks. We have a uh, ProVent catch can in there as well. We also have a full fuse kit, I believe um, it was a PPD fuse kit uh, with many fuses. So you get yeah, real good fuses to sort of have. Um, also, all the work has been um, taped up and yeah, done real neatly. I think it's called velvet tape and that's all been done by uh, Wangara Auto Electrics. So yeah. If you guys need any electrical work, go to them because they do a top job. Um, yeah, we've also got diff breathers uh, by PDP. I think that may be the same. Yeah, that's the same as the fuse kits. So that's that one. Um, and also a PDP uh, secondary fuel filter. We have it on. And I think that's about it for underneath. Um, I'll bring you guys around to the side of the car now. One thing I did forget to mention, tucked up behind the grill there, um, also done by Wangara Auto Electrics, is a Red Arc BCDC charger for the secondary battery. And yeah, it does all of that. So it's a real nice, neat setup tucked away in there. Coming around the side of the car, we have a Moonlight Snorkel. It's a five inch um, snorkel as well. Done in a satin black to suit the car. We have clear view mirrors, um, they're all like the ones that fold in and stuff and they also have the camera underneath so you still get that 360 view when you're parking. Um, yeah, these are the new models, so they're more of that rounded look and so that square look on the GQ. Underneath we have some electric footsteps and they are T-Max brand, so they're actually the quickest side step I've actually seen on the new cars um, and they also have little lights that come down which is pretty cool. Uh, the whole car is also wrapped in bush wraps uh, PPF clear film so yeah not one scratch is pretty much under this car um, on the paint so which is sort of a must when you've got a nice car. Um, also we have fuel rims they are in an 18 inch um, and the tyre size is a 29570 by 18s uh, wrapped in Yokohama Gerlander mud terrain tyres. So these are really well suited tyres and rim size for a 200 series. I have the same uh, offset and everything on mine. Um, moving around to the back, we have a Kama rear bar. This rear bar I really like, sort of gives it that uh, stock sort of look, that real rounded. Um, still has all like the parking sensors and stuff. So this here is a real pretty cool uh, bit of gear. So doesn't have your standard like um, mounts as you would with a standard tire carrier. So it actually just mounts straight into your tow hitch. Um, it's rated for pretty much like a recovery as well. 
And yeah, that is also color coded the same as the car in that graphite color. But yeah, plenty of room, your two jerry can holders. Um, yeah, it's basically the size of a 35 on the back as well. On the back, we have a crash pad bag. It's one of the new models. I'm not too sure what it's called. Might be Stealth. Not too sure, I'll have to double check that. Um, full set of Max Tracks. And yeah, plenty of room. Basically like a bin bag on the back if you want to use it for that. Or whatever you want to use it for. But yeah, real good idea. If you have nowhere else to mount your Max Tracks, they um, pretty much just sit in the tie bag. So coming around to this side. Oh, one more thing I forgot. Um, it's got like a little custom mount, which you can get on eBay and I think there's a few other places. And it's basically got a GME um, XRS unit in the car, which is pretty cool. In the back, we have a stand-up 85 litre King's Bridge. So plenty of food storage there. On the front, we also have more King storage, that's just Velcro. Um, down here from Pinnacle, we have a slide out kitchen. So that's for your cooker, chopping board, and a little pop down sink, which is pretty cool. We also have a 1500 watt inverter. Um, yeah, pretty much constant power. A uh, little portable vacuum for when the car gets dirty. We have a King's travel buddy. Down here is just another drawer for storage. At the moment, mum and dad are just using this for dry food storage. Um, down here, uh, controls the settings for the amber lights and white lights, um, keep bugs away. Down here is just another little MSA uh, pocket, which you can use on the dash of your car, or in this case, in the back. So that's just an extra keep goodies in. Another storage compartment up top. Um, in the side down here is a ARB uh, twin compressor and that's on a um, windable hose reel that's about 10 meters long. So it makes deflating and pumping up your tires real easy. Uh, in the side we also have more just storage for your longer sort of items and I think that's probably it in the back so basically they're still traveling full time on the road as you guys can see it's just packed full of stuff um all the essentials for living on the road basically and being off grid um yeah that's the back we'll move on to the roof where we've got the bunder top and a few other accessories up top we have a bunder bunder top tent um this is basically just on the swivel and it plugs straight into the Anderson plug. And it's got just two buttons, which you pretty much just hit the top. Goes up. Um, it's also paired with an awning and an uh, ensuite on this side. While I'm up here as well guys, I just wanted to quickly show you, it also has inbuilt lights and inbuilt fans, which is pretty cool. Um, definitely not something you see every day in your rooftop tents. So up there, it's pretty much got a fan. Other side's got a fan and a light in the center and pretty much all round you have windows for that ventilation um, and also obviously your views as you guys can see there it's a pretty wicked view and yeah pretty much um, once you're done with it you just press the other button and it comes straight back down Yep, 
Also, I forgot to mention, guys, it is on a Lovell's uh, GVM upgrade, 4.2 ton. So it's sitting on a two inch lift uh, all round. Full remote res shocks, so real comfortable ride as well. And also has a full um, anti exhaust system deep in the back as well, so it has a real nice note to it.